Korean from zero would take five minutes out of your busy day. Certainly, you could take five minutes to learn some Korean. This is a very short one. You probably got here by searching, typing Korean. It's very easy to type Korean if you know some basic things. To make it even more easier, we've prepared a tutorial here at koreanfromzero.com. If you go to this link right here, it'll show you how to install your computer. It'll show you how to install your computer. It'll show you how to install something on your computer that will allow you to type Korean. It could be your uh, PC or your Mac, and I believe we even have some phone tutorials up there. All right, but basically, to type Korean, you need to be able to know where the characters are on the Korean keyboard. So you need to either have a Korean keyboard, okay, or you need to have stickers that are on your keyboard. You should go order them right now on Amazon.com from any company. They're about six bucks. Put them on your keyboard and then you'll be able to type Korean. Until you have that sticker, or until you have a keyboard, you can go ahead and download the book, koreanfromzero.com, and in the back of the book, they have a little uh, sheet that you can cut out or uh, copy and print and you just kind of keep it next to your desk. That's what I did when I studied Korean because I didn't have stickers yet. All right? Keep it on your desk and then you can look at the keyboard and you'll know that, for example, this character's here and that character's there. All right? In order to type Korean, you're going to be able to type all of these on just that keyboard. If you look again on the keyboard, everything on the left is a consonant, everything on the right is a vowel. All right? And here is the entire list. Sometimes you need to type a shift. And if you look at the keyboard again, if you look at the Q, W, E, R, T keys, you'll see that above the normal characters, there are what there are double characters that you hold shift to get to them. Okay? All right? So I'm assuming that at this point you've installed the ability on your iPhone or on your Android or on your Mac or on your Windows, and maybe some of you have Linux, I'm assuming you can type Korean already. So here's what you do, okay? Let's look at this right here, all right? So I'm going to type, we're going to type the verb hada. Mm, hada. Hada, which means what? To do. To do. It's a real common verb, and it's also used in a lot of adjectives. It's very common. You'll type it all the time. But you'll notice that above the letters here on the screen, it has G, and then a K, and then an E, and then a K because that's the exact letters we're going to type. It makes no sense, right? G-K-E-K -E -K somehow makes hada, hada, right? But that's because the English keyboard has nothing to do with Korean typing. That's why you need to have the stickers on there, okay? So you're going to type a G, which is actually a hit, hit. a hit, hit. and then you're going to type a K, which is actually a. a. And together you're going to make ha. And on the screen, you're going to see that underneath what you've typed, there's a little dotted line. That dotted line means the character is not complete yet. Okay? If you hit uh, space, it would complete. But typically, you're not going to just say ha. You're going to want to say hada. So you're going to go type the next character, which is the tigut. Okay? And that happens to be on the K key. Okay? And when you type it, look at what happens. Look right here, do you see that? Right there. It's kind of weird, right? It says hot. 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 That doesn't mean anything, does it? That mean anything? Yeah. Hot doesn't mean anything. But notice that we still have the dotted line underneath. That means the character hasn't completed yet. In order to complete the character, you need to type the next vowel or the next thing. And that will then, notice what happens. When you type the, another a, ah, it shifts over and makes ha da. Because the input system knows that you could never have consonant vowel, consonant vowel making up one character. If you watch the previous episode, you'll see that that's not, an that's not a possible character. Okay, you can't have consonant vowel, consonant vowel. It has to be consonant vowel, consonant, consonant vowel, consonant, consonant, mm -hmm. but it can never be two vowels separated by a uh, consonant like that. There you have it. If you would like to learn more on this, we have extensive lessons in the Korean From Zero book written by Sunny, Joji, and Reed. <laughs> Reed, who is in Daejeong right now, mm -hmm. right, teaching English in Korea. We'll see him in another video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all on the next Korean in Five. Annyeong! Yeah. <laughs>